Welcome back in to WKYT. This is going to be a fun segment. You can take a step into the days of old as the Pioneer Arts and Crafts Festival is taking place in Clay City on Saturday. We're joined by historians Joe Barnes and Eugene Peck to tell us more about it. Thank you all for coming in. And you brought Glad some great things along Thank with you, you too. You want yes. to make sure that some things are not lost, Joe, right? Uh, such as right. this that you have right here. What is that? This is a rope making machine. This was patented in 1907. And this is just a short demonstration model that I've got set up that I take to the schools and, and to our arts and crafts days at the different, many different museums that I'm involved with. And I let the kids crank up and show them how to make a rope. How does the, it work when you're talking about cranking? Well, it's simple. To, this this spring here acts as a weight to mm -hmm. go on. Now, if a farmer wanted to make a rope, he just put a weight out over the fence post or whatever at the length that he wanted to make his rope. Then you simply thread this machine with three or four different <coughs> strings, uh, and you go to one point on that end. Mm -hmm. Well. Someone has to work this in with this little wrench or type tool here. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Well, when you crank this machine, you can see what happens. Oh. They just stand there. Tighten well, when up. you crank it, it twists all of those strings together that you have wow. uh, that you have threaded it with. Well, when it gets so tight, it wants to counter react on this end. It wants to untwist. Uh -huh. So you just keep cranking this end, and whoever works that end. Walks well, simply like walks up the road, and that wow. therefore you have your three-part rope. Well, and I know the kids love to see that. It's an art we don't need to lose. And this yeah. is something, Eugene, that is just lovely. Tell me about this. You uh, made this. Yes, I made that. Uh, we would like to think that that's a Kentucky uh, invented in Kentucky. We can't prove it, but uh, it probably was. Mm -hmm. uh, Mr. Uh, uh, Man made it down at started making them down at Hindman, Kentucky, about mm -hmm. 1868, and uh, a beautiful mountain dulcimer. They have caught on, and uh, it it really shows that the mountain people had a lot of ingenuity. They could take nothing and make something out of it. Of course, he had good timber and and all that at the time. This is just a little bit of a sample of what is going to be going on at Clay City with a big yeah. uh, event, and that'll be this Saturday. Is that yeah, right? we're going to uh, raffle off one of these uh, dulcimers. That's wonderful. And uh, I'll be there with, with some dulcimers and a handmade uh, guitar and a handmade uh, ukulele. So if you want to try one, just, just come by. We'll let you try any of them. Come and see this. Well, sounds like so it, it sounds like a, a really good afternoon. Appreciate y'all coming you in. Thanks a lot.